Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on a set of courses taking a look at Rad Dance 2021 FD Supra. It's by the same man that did Frederick Osmo's car. I'll leave his Instagram in the link down in the description box below. So we're going to take a look at it today here on Euphoria Drift Hillside. We're going to be going first person, third person, all kinds of different views. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. If you're not subscribed to the channel, would appreciate the support. And if you would tap the like button, it definitely would appreciate it. Today's the last day for you guys to get the blackout deal. So make sure you guys check the description box below for the final day of the deal going on from the coldest water. Big thank you to them. So let's get to it. So Rat Dan Supra here at Euphoria Hillside. Back to the classic style. Oh, I think we have track. Oh, yep, yeah, we have traction control. Back to the classic style, a set of course of videos where we go in third and in first person throughout the videos. For full aspect, first run of this car in a little winty uh, condition. Wintery, winty, wintery condition. Try and send it out all the way. Definitely an amazing Supra and definitely have fun with it in Horizon, but this has Rad Dan's 2021 livery and wig and everything like that. Just listen to the echoes. Like I said, I'll leave the link in the description box below to the main Instagram where you can guys pick up this car for download for yourselves. Oh, this car is a lot of fun. I can see some tire, uh, like, deflection in the rear of, of this car. I can see the tires kind of squatted a little bit based on the pressure I have. I lost train of thought. I was looking away. Okay. But Euphoria is definitely a fun track and definitely a track that I truly do love. So now, I'm going to echo through these canyon areas. Like I said, we're going to rip this in first person as well. We're going to go in. Oh, sorry, Red Dan. We're going to do a full lap like this, and then we're going to switch it up and do a full lap in first. Just in the, the HyperX mic there. So this is a bass tune. I did not tweet or tune anything. This is just how it was. So maybe some fine tuning for some personal preference. I love going through those tunnels and just, you know, getting the, the echo from the car. So we gotta throw it in that first person mode. And run a whole lap in first. The Halo seat definitely kind of getting in the way, looking that way. Oh, it's very in the way that way. Seating position is crucial with drifting in first person, of course. And But, of course, in real life, you would have those Halos right there as well. Oh, we kind of just threw that. A little backy. A little backwards entry on that. A little echo here. Not as much when you're in first person though. The plane belching out the hood of this car. Red Dan Super, definitely a fun car to play off. A bit slipperier than I expected, but you know, it is the wintry season here in Euphoria Hillside Drift. And it's a, a bit of a wintry season where I live too, so it only suits right. I don't think I'd be taking this car out in the snow though. Let's get our way up. Kind of just letting the wheel ride. Oh, I threw that too much. We got it though. I kind of saved it. Oh, no! Did not break hard enough for there. Sorry, Red Dan. No apologize for taking the car and uh, kind of smacking it into the wall. You know we're gonna take this to an FD track 
Will we take all cars? When we drive these first cars, you know we're gonna hit up Irwindale. Maybe OSW, because OSW has been a little bit more home recently. And we'll run it, obviously, in first, because that's how I've been running all my pro cars and everything now. Or in VR, but we don't have the VR hooked up today. So I say we uh, go hit up OSW and see what we can do with the car at OSW. We almost wrecked it. Let's change up. Head up OSW. Orlando Speed World Basic Tune. We're going to turn off trash control. So definitely enjoying Red Dan Supra here at Aceta Corsa and OSW. Now we're going to see what we can do with it. I like it in the parking lot. It feels good. I was going to say I love it at OSW. We haven't even driven it yet. We're going to go full send. Getting a little bit twisted on my words today. So I do apologize for that. Make sure you guys follow me. And I'll switch me to the description box below. Let's go full send. It's probably going to be a third gear ripper. Maybe fourth. We'll find out. We're going to start in second though. We start in second was a bad idea. Fourth gear. Wall tap. Wall oh, okay. Wall tap, wall tap, wall tap. All right. So it's a fourth gear start. We need to start in first gear, though. The car bogged down a little bit too much there. So we're going to have to make sure we do get a good start this time. The brake squeak. Definitely love it. All right, let's do it. I think we almost over rotated. We almost did. Came off that bump a little bit sloppy. So we're going to go one more run. And then we're going to take a look at it from the replay camera angle. And see those runs in their entirety. Because, you know, OSW. Definitely a fun track. But uh, if you get mixed up in that bump, it could be definitely a bad time. All right. One final run. Oh, I came off the bank a little weird. And we went up there, but we managed to bring it back. Not the cleanest of OSW runs like I've had, but we'll go take a look at these in replay camera. Let's see what they truly look like from the outside tail of the tape. I think that was where we bailed. This is the first run at OSW in Red Dan Supra. We are nice and high up on the bank though. So right here, I didn't manage that timing correctly. We kind of over chucked it and kind of fell out of the zone there. We managed to bring it back towards the end, but unfortunately we've kind of fell out and uh, that would have been a bad time. So the second run, hopefully, was a lot better. The bank run seemed like it was a lot better, but then we kind of uh, came off a little early. Nice and high on the bank, though. Yeah, we came off the bank early, had to kind of center punch that. Then we went way too up there. We brought it back down. And we were, I think, one tire over. The yeah, we were way one tire over. So I think we need to get one final run here. See if we can't lay down the best run possible like we did in Osmo's car. I don't know I was trying to drive with my spoke. That was not a good idea because that could have really hurt my finger. Oh, jeez. Feedback in the car, definitely very strong. All right, let's go full send. I mean, we'll use that wall tap to our advantage. Ah, 
Ah, we kind of did that little hesitation out of there again. The lock was not what I was expecting. We'll watch that one final time in replay. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll find in the description box below. Final run in Red Dan Supra here for this episode. Hi, puppy. She's coming to watch the last final run. She's up there cheesing up that wall ride, though. She said, good wall ride, but very bad exit. I know. I'm sorry. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll find the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Big thank you to you guys for coming out and watching another one. As always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.